message then. Colonel Tobin contacted us. He arranged safe passage to Onderon for you, but I don't know if his offer still stands. He said he wanted a meeting with you on Isis, that it was urgent and that you'd know what it was about, but things have changed. This morning, General Vaklu met with the Council of Lords and pronounced the Queen guilty of treason. He'll be made regent if Talia and her royal guard are defeated. The military support is evenly divided. Isis has fallen into civil war. The war is part of their plans? Then perhaps his invitation is still valid. There is a great deal of chaos on the streets of Isis, but I can try to contact Colonel Tobin. We can talk to him via satellite on Isis. I'll contact him now. It is good to see you. We try to delay the war as long as possible, to give you enough time to receive our message and get here. But the Sith could only be delayed for so long. Still, your arrival is timely. The war goes well, but victory is not yet certain. Much of the city is under our control, but we still need to wrest the Merchant Quarter from Queen Talia's forces. We need you to spearhead the assault on the Merchant Quarter and the attack on the Royal Palace. But we also need you to tend to the Sith Lord's forces. The Sith Lord has been using an ancient tomb on Duxon as their base in the system. That tomb isn't too far from your encampment. You need to assemble a group that can eliminate the Sith at the tomb. We'll coordinate with Kelborn when you're ready to strike. After their attack there, the Sith will turn on us. So we'll need you here with us. You'll have to divide your forces. We need your skills on the planet. You should select someone you trust to lead the group to attack the Sith camp. I'm no historian, but I think it's the tomb of an ancient leader. In any event, it doesn't matter. Eliminating the Sith there and stopping whatever they are doing is all that's important. The battle rages nearby. Find some sort of transport to the Merchant Quarter. General Vaklu will meet you personally when you arrive. The Colonel has transmitted the tomb's coordinates, and I've got a strike force of Mandalorians ready to go. We will send the strike force with you to clear a path through the jungle. Who will lead that expedition? I will do what you ask of me. You should send two others to go with the leader. Who else will accompany the expedition? Very well. And who else? Excellent choice. Now are you certain of your choices? Mandalorian warriors will go with you to find the enemy camp. Just let me know when you want to head out. If you need supplies, talk with Kex. After you get into the jungle, you might not have another opportunity to stock up. Let me know if you want to go now. As you wish. Mandalore has arranged for special transportation to get to Isis. Finally, we're close to our objective. I sent the rest of my men to secure the trail behind us. We've already received our signal from Colonel Tobin. You are to attack the Sith camp immediately. My troops will keep the path to the Mandalorian camp clear. Ahead lies the enemy. I can follow you a little bit further, but then I will set up command and control for my unit in the field. So lead on.
Life is yours. I'm here. What sort of sensor is up ahead, beyond the mines? Yes. Yes, that's what it is. That relay will detect anything that gets too close to it. Only a skilled stealth field operator can get by it safely. But unless all of you can use stealth generators, it will detect your group. Too bad, too. If you got by it undetected, it could make your task much easier. Making detonation packs is complicated and dangerous. It looks serviceable, and you didn't blow yourself up. Avoid the mines. If any of the ones close to the sensor are detonated, then we shouldn't even bother. Ready. Intruders, kill them! Ready. 
my first day on Duxon. My predecessor displeased our masters and was dealt with. The fool let Kernox through the perimeter. The Sith don't tolerate any failure. I'm the fifth captain to command this base camp. The camp sits in the shadow of a tomb. My subordinates say that the body of an ancient warlord named Freedon Naird lies inside. We don't know why we're here. We sit and make sure that no beasts come into our camp, and especially that they don't reach the tomb itself. A bleak assignment. Signing off. This jungle feels similar to Korriban before it fell after the war. Everyone is on edge. Executions for infractions are commonplace here. 50% more than my previous command. There's a bloodthirstiness to the jungle. Beasts here continually assault our mind perimeter. And to replace the minefields four times so far, we received more equipment and more men today. The equipment went straight inside the tomb. As usual, I have no idea what it contained. We're expecting more Sith to arrive. They want us to capture one of the beasts for them. No explanation. There never is. Signing off. Coded messages from Orbit and from Onderon. Some sort of conflict is brewing. I think we have a ship in orbit. We're on full battle alert against what they won't say. A Sith Master said something. Disturbance in the Force. Well, what does that even mean? How do I prepare for that? From his tone, the threat is serious. Put a double shift on monitoring the aerial sensor grid. The only thing that could worry our master so much has to be a dropship invasion from the Onderon military. We will be prepared. The Sith said soon we'll have reinforcements. When I asked for details, he said it was a surprise. I hate the ones with a sense of humor. Sith jokes are rarely pleasant. Signing off. Something you read. Yeah. I'm here.